Welcome back to another nature hike. This time it's Belmont Lake at Belmont Lake State Park. And right now we're by a highway. See fishing for whatever reason. You can actually cross under, oh, under the Southern State Parkway. And it's actually very interesting here. I know I'm supposed to be walking around the lake, but this is cool. And the river also happens to somehow flow under it. I can literally touch the underpass of the highway. That looks cool, but I don't have time for it. Um, considering it's just walking around the lake. So that was cool, but it's not like we can actually do any uh, serious exploration for it. I will say the annoying thing about being in the lake is it makes it colder than it actually is. It's actually 56 degrees outside, believe it or not, based on what people are wearing. It's actually 56 degrees, but it doesn't feel like it's 56 with all of this wind, especially wind off the water. That makes it feel like it's more like 52 degrees outside. And that's pretty intense considering that by some metrics, wind chill stops in the 50s, but it kind of can go on in, into the 60s, but usually 50s is about where it stops. This lake is also massive and I have to go around the whole thing in 20 minutes. So this will be interesting, but it's a good ecological tour of this area. Now, I don't know if you'll see giant puddles here. I saw them earlier. In case you're wondering, Long Island has been pulling like 10 inches of rain for the month of March. So everything is severely flooded over. And I mean like everything, especially considering there was four inches of rain on Saturday and then another inch of rain on Thursday. So it was already really wet to start off the month of March and then it got worse. New York City had exactly nine inches of rain for the month of March and that might go up too. It will be nice if it compares to a nice even 9.00 but I highly doubt that. Now I do have a trail here, but it does have caution poison ivy, but I'm I'm obviously not wearing shorts if it's only 55 degrees. There, there are times where I do occasionally, like there'll be a weird case when I'm watching the partial eclipse, um, which will be a total eclipse of state, but a partial eclipse here, there will be an example where I have to do that. This is not one of them. In case you're wondering, can I get a video of the eclipse? The answer is, unfortunately, I will not be able to because that could damage the camera of my phone forever. Um, ambient surroundings, yes, I will get a picture of the ambient surroundings. But the actual sun, I will unfortunately not be able to get a picture of it because it would require extensive equipment that I uh, do not have. Equipment that I do not have with me. And the last time I went here in December, it was also a lot colder than it is right now. That definitely plays into this as well. So, um, so today is, I'm filming this on Good Friday. So it's a bit of a long weekend. And in this video, I guess, learn a little about my personal life while enjoying the nature. So as far as my, um, you, you know, everything's been going, right now I, I am at the start of my college application process. Now, of course, you know, you could go back very far, like February of 2022 when I went to the University of Washington. Um, and I have videos of my trip to the Pacific Northwest and and I wouldn't get Instagram for almost a year after, but, the, but I did post some memories of it on my Instagram as well. Um, so like I've been up there and now the first college tour, SUNY Albany, that was in August. Stony Brook, that was in October of 2022 and I was a sophomore at that point. Um, you know, I, for, for whatever reason, decided to visit the Western Connecticut University in April 2023 is a good idea, but I'm not inspired by it. 
um, then in August, it's 2023, it's Iowa State. February 2024, it's Delaware and, and Maryland. Now I'm in junior year where there is going to be more stuff going on. But, well, you, you can look at the college tours at the start of it. It really starts now. Now they have to actually ask for teacher recommend, teacher letters of recommendation, fill out all these forms. I mean, the Common App doesn't open until August 1st, but I'm really at the beginning. And, it's, and it does take about a year because in about a year, I'll actually be committing to college and oh crap, I'm on an interior trail. I gotta turn around now. So I'm not actually right by the lake anymore. I'm really sure there's no one went that way. Oh, I can explore the area by the underpass a little more extensively. In any case, um, as far as the um, the application process goes, you know, it really does just pretty much bring you through everything. Um, because I, I'm going to be applying early action to a lot of colleges by, um, you know, ideally by November 1st. But, of course, some schools I'm touring after November 1st. So that that will have to be done regularly. But a lot of it is early action. Because, you know, I do want to commit by, by March. I do want the entire circle to last less than a year. Um, and I don't know when or where I'm going to commit. But... I do want to know, I do want to know within a year. Um, so, you know, that's just that. And, you know, that's just how it is. So now, as far as um, other things. So, one of the things that I think is interesting is how am I actually going to see the April 8th eclipse? And, and, and thankfully, the max eclipse in New York City is about 3.30 p.m. So while I, can, I might be able to see the absolute max, I could definitely get very close. Um, it's tough. You know, it, it, it really is tough. Because what you have to understand is, is that... I have to, at school ends at two, I have to get work at four, and I have to walk between the two. So I realized that I could go to the Pleasant Park and watch the eclipse. I would also have to change into shorts for my lifeguarding before that happens. That's not exactly ideal, and it's probably going to be in the 50s, and I'll probably be freezing. Maybe I'll just get a blanket, but I really don't have that much of a choice because I won't have enough time to actually change once I, you know, get to the Y. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly that, though. It might even be cloudy, which would ruin the eclipse. Right now, it looks like it will be sunny during the eclipse. So, what I do on that front is still to be determined. I almost wonder if you're in a school sport, are they going to cancel sports if they have the eclipse? I, I don't know. Driving during the eclipse will also be very dangerous. It it it'll be hard. You know, solar eclipses get very tough, which is, you know, why I think that, you know, my, my strategy on the day is see the eclipse, why it'll be so important. Especially because the next time that we get an eclipse is not going to be for a long, long time and I'll have to travel very far to get an eclipse again. Uh, sucks I couldn't see in totality, but 90% is pretty close, so... All I need to, see to do is work out a strategy to see it, and that'll that'll be nice. So that's that. Um, huh. And. And as for everything else, I mean, like, there's still a lot of stuff I, I don't know right now. Um, 
that I do want to obviously, you know, know, know more about. Because this, honestly, really just is a, a bit of an inter interesting time. And, like, I don't know when I'm going to know what college I'm going to go to. Because I have to see where I get in, what, what scholarships will give me, what honor colleges I get into. There's a lot. A lot that it comes down to. Now, I do have to address March Madness. Iowa State lost. Number one, I really wanted to go there. And even though they lost to the school that I'm looking at in Illinois, it still hurts. Also, my bracket is entirely ruined. So you might wonder, how many points do I have? I have 44 as of the recording of this video. My maximum is 88. And I actually remember, one of the reasons why I had some optimism heading into this, it, in my bracket, even though I was in 12th place, was that at least my maximum was still good. Well, now I'm in 11th place. Um, but now my maximum is a lot lower than other people's. I can't go, I can't go nearly as high. I was 160 when I was, it was alive. Now it's 88. Oh, that, oh, that's it. That's interesting. Interesting waterfall. And obviously, you know, it, it makes sense to a degree as to why I'd lose so many points. Because the Sweet 16 is worth four points, and I ain't getting those four points. But I would say there's a lot of other matches I got wrong. The Elite Eight is wrong, and then the Final Four is wrong, and then the Championship is wrong, and the winner's wrong. And there were other stuff that I got wrong. I thought that the University of North Carolina was going to win. And they didn't. Uh, the Arizona winning. They lost. There's a lot of flaws in my bracket. But, you know, you know, it's not as bad as it could have been, but it kind of also is destroyed. My maximum is only 88 points. I, I don't know. I just don't know how the rest of my bracket continues. Both my East and uh, the South and West regional winners are off. It's tough. Like, it, it genuinely is really tough. Huh. Now I have no idea where I am, so I think I'm going to end the video here.